again, and here comes 165 pounds now. Austin Wilson up against Nick Moore, and um, Austin Wilson's been coming along for the Nebraska program. Yeah, for sure. He's a stud, you know. He's a young guy, but he's really scrappy, and he's got some great stuff. He's great on top, and he's great in the wrestling, great training partner, so I look forward to some good things from him in the future. Well, we're going to talk to Jordan Burroughs along the way. We won't be able to talk to him as much as we'd like to, but we want to hear about uh, his relationship with Coach Mark Manning and the Nebraska program where he was a two-time NCAA champion and uh, and uh, the ongoing um, undefeated international career, 67-0, and 0, I think, right yeah, now. Yeah, who's counting, right? Yeah, who's <laughs> counting, and, um, but never been beaten at the international level. Austin Wilson, sophomore from Hastings, Nebraska, and going up against Nick Moore, and Nick Moore having a great season right now. He's ranked number four. He's a junior out of Iowa City West, same high school as Derek St. John, and he's wrestling really well here lately, Jim. I really think he's doing a great job in the season battling here, and, and I like Coach Granz's comments. Who wouldn't like that? You know, he's, he's got to go out there and get their hands on people, and he's talking about not just looking good out there, but actually putting up points, and that's, I think, one thing that he's expecting more of his Iowa wrestlers is to get out there, and, and this is a guy who's been able to go ahead and, and do just that. He's been putting up more points in his matches, and that's what's made him, given him the number four ranking, and a guy who was tough to score on, Nick Moore, you know, pretty good in all positions. Guy who's used to winning at the high school level, hasn't quite made the transition yet. Made it to the round of 12 last year, but uh, you know, see what he can do here. Whip over attempt, come back the other direction, gets the quick two. More takedown. You know, I gotta, you know, here with the champion here, you know, I, I gotta tell you this, I can't tell you how many people I come across and when the subject of Jordan Burroughs comes up, is that how many people who are associated with the, uh, the sport and have wrestled at that, not at your level, but at, at the high levels, admire the way you are representing us today. Uh, not only competitively out there on the mat, but everything that happens, the Al Michaels interview that you did, man, that was awesome. Thank you know? you very much, I appreciate that. Yeah, it was just, uh, you're, you're a gem, and I uh, want to see you keep competing and, and all the good things that can happen here for you. That, uh, I'm excited for you. Tell us about things that are happening in your life. A lot of great things happen. I'm actually competing next month, the first time this year, the Yasar Dogu Tournament in Turkey, February 15th. So I'm excited about that. Just got married in October to my beautiful wife. Oh, it's that's also exciting. Got a young one coming on the way this summer, August 3rd is a due date, so that's <laughs> so exciting. I'm so excited about that, but it's just a lot of good stuff. You know, so back in the wrestling room, training full time, helping out these guys, um, and just trying to improve and win more gold medals in the world championships. Lincoln, Nebraska, your base still? Oh yeah, this is home, this is home. So I've actually bought a home here this summer and uh, me and Coach Manning have a great relationship together and the rest of the coaching staff. I'm close with everyone in the wrestling team. I've got great training partners in Robert Kokesh and James Green. So it's just huge for me to be here and I feel like a big fish in a small pond staying here in Lincoln, you know? So I'm big man on campus and, and I love being the guy here. Shot by Nick Moore right there. He's going in, trying to get a second takedown. Out in front, two to one, looking, he does get. And Nick Moore out in front, four to one. And that's the, that's the job that Nick Moore is doing, is consistently getting after it. And that, that could be seen all the way through this duel meet here, guys scoring points. And, you know, Jordan, how, how, how many seconds on the clock does it take for you to go ahead and, and, and shoot your signature double leg? Oh, it takes a, a little bit of time, man. I think for me, it's become all about timing, all about setting up my shots. So, you know, I need quite a little bit of time in order for me to execute a, a double that I feel confident in. But, uh, you know, all you need is five or six seconds to go after and get a guy. So you really got to stay patient and work on your timing and anticipation. You know, to add on to what Jim was talking about, and we're so proud of the way you represent uh, wrestling, but America's too, because I think Olympic gold medal transcends sports. Everybody wants a part of you, don't they? They want to talk to you because you're an Olympic gold medalist. And so, you know, whether they were interested in wrestling before, they are now, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's crazy. After I won my first world championship in 2011, I would tell people, hey, I'm a world champ. They'd be like, oh, that's cool. Yeah. And I'd say, after 2012, I'm an Olympic gold medalist. They'd be like, well, why didn't you say so? <laughs> <laughs> so it's uh, it was a lot bigger prestige to the Olympic gold medal in 2012, and everyone recognized it's uh, a huge spectacle and one of the biggest sporting events in the world. Yeah, big fish between two ponds now. <laughs> <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> Austin Wilson on top, a good start here to this uh, second period in a ride. He's down four to one, but he was named the most improved wrestler in the room last year at Nebraska and must have come in awful raw, and he's just one of those hard workers in the room. Oh, yeah, he's the type of guy you need to win national championships. 
He's going to score points for us at the NCAA tournament. He's going to win matches, and he's going to go out there and fight. So that's what we need, confident guys that work hard, do all the right things, show up to the classroom and the rest of them every day and work hard. And that's uh, what we have in Austin Wilson. You know, you, know, you mentioned um, winning matches. He won three matches at the NCAAs last year oh, as yeah. a freshman. Oh, yeah. Real close, up against one of the best right now in Nick Moore, who's also having a great year. You know, that was a great job by Moore getting out right there. You see how he's able to go ahead and move forward and get the uh, uh, get into good compact base again and, and get the escape. But, uh, you know, this Nebraska program, you know, you got the talent like James Green, but you've also got those, you know, workout guys like uh, Kokesh, who's a grinder, Suflon, who's a grinder, you know, and, and they're not going to do anything real flashy. So you got it almost at both ends here, the, the explosiveness and also the guys that grind it out here. And talk about that culture. Right, for sure. It's an awesome culture in the wrestling room. I think one of the biggest dynamics of our wrestling team is that Coach Manning allows you to be who you are and then just improves on what you already have. So when I got to college, he said, all right, you're raw, you're talented, you're quick, you're athletic. Let's try to make you score as many points as possible. You keep guys uncomfortable, fake, move your feet, and go out there and score a lot of points. And then we have the grinders like Robert Kokesh and Austin Wilson, who, you know, aren't as fast and aren't as athletic, but they go out there and work hands, hand fight, and control ties. And that's how they score their points. It's almost with guys like that, as you see Wilson get taken down on a beautiful shot by Moore, it's, it's, it's guys like that, they struggle with their confidence, but once they get it, and they understand that they can go ahead and, and, and be dynamic here, even with that type of style. It, it, just, it takes a little while longer for them to have that confidence. You know, Jim, you were talking about the, uh, the room. Let's go ahead and talk about the facilities at Nebraska now and the support from the administration. It seems like it's there. They want to see Nebraska wrestling be at the top. Oh, yeah, it's huge. Um, the Hendricks Training Complex opened up in 2011. So uh, that's our new wrestling room facility, and it's awesome. It's a beautiful training room, and, you know, we get a lot of hard work done in there. So that's where all the national championships, the world championships, and Olympic gold medals are won right upstairs in that wrestling room. And it's been great for the guys going in here. It's easy on the eye when you've got recruits coming in to see that as well. So it's some good stuff going on here in Lincoln. Austin Wilson going to take the down position. And Moore's but looked really good here, real solid. And, uh, you know, what other commitments do you have inside the sport? Uh, you know, wrestling is, has been huge for me. I started wrestling when I was five years old, and it's what I love to do. You know, so when you guys talk about being an ambassador of the sport, I love to go around to the na nation's youth and basically just tell them if you make the necessary sacrifices and commitments, you too can be on this wrestling mat here, wrestling against Iowa, wrestling for Nebraska, wrestling for the United States of America. And I think that's one of the biggest goals for every wrestler is to wrestle at the highest level, which is NCAA championships and Olympic gold medals. You know, you've already, you know, you've been on that big stage. You know, the NCAA is as, is, is as big as it gets at this level. And, of course, the conference championships, you know, this, you know, talk about Nebraska, the program coming into the Big Ten and what, what that's meant. You, you've kind of witnessed that transition as well. It's great. It's great. We've got a young team, but we've also got some leaders in between Sue Flone, James Green, and Robert Kokesh. Those guys are all studs, and they're looking forward to leading this team into the NCAA championships and hopefully bringing home a trophy. So I think the toughest thing is working with the young guys, building that confidence, and showing them that you're never too young to win. So you got to dream big and dream early. 7-2, to two, Nick Moore, a workmanlike match going on. He's got a minute five riding time. There's a minute 10 left in regulation. When you talk about elements of a great program, it's, it's you know, leadership, senior leadership, upper class One leadership. It's young guys match. coming in. And it's also guys succeeding at the next level. And that's what, you know, Iowa's been a great program. Others have been great as well here because they have that, have that confidence. Two tough guys mixing it up on the edge of the mat. That's good. Oh, yeah. Uh, with the, uh, but that's that's a signature of, of, of a great program when you see that success at the next level and and uh, you know and for those great programs add an Olympic gold medalist over here Tom Brands Olympic gold medals in the Iowa room in the Nebraska room Jordan Burroughs in the Penn State room Kale Sanderson yeah. it's a mark of a great program in the Iowa State and Kevin Jackson yeah it doesn't have to be just the coach it's just but building that culture where guys are succeeding at the next level and transmitting that culture and uh, just having the opportunity to stick around. Nice shot by Moore again. He's been sliding in so slick, Jim. Yeah, and, and you're right on that, Tim. Is it, and this will be tough for him to finish with the weight. But wow, he'd be able to come. He's able to come up. He'll come up to his feet right now if he can step up. Yep, he is. 
And what I noticed about Nick Moore, as we've watched him over the years, he's less mechanical. The muscle memory seems to, is, he's saying, you know, I've got confidence. And that comes from wins like he had, you know, in recently. Yeah, he has, he's beaten some tough guys. And Caldwell uh, in the Oklahoma State match. That had to be a huge, huge. confidence builder. For yeah, because you, you thought that, that Caldwell was solidly number top three in the country and Moore was able to go out there and, and uh, really dominate that match. O Iowa dominated that match at Oklahoma State. So, with Oklahoma State. So good. Well, there's good. your winner, Nick Moore, and a good workmanlike win. Three points for Iowa. Nick Moore, the winner at 165 pounds, 8 to 2.